all done. Oops. What's up? There we go. Shave the beard off as well, guys. Comment down below, beard or no beard. Hi guys, welcome to another video. Uh, before I start on the uh, quick review I'm doing about these two tripods, make sure you subscribe. Um, when I get to 100 subscribers, I've already said in my last video that I'm gonna give away a D brand skin for anybody's phone uh, they want, any, any design, any phone type. So smash that subscribe button, D brand skin coming your way if you get selected once I get to 100 subscribers, and I'm gonna do it for every 100 after that, up to 1,000. So yeah, subscribe, hit the little bell so you don't miss any videos, guys. Right, let's get into the video. We are doing a quick review about, no, it's a versus. Okay, ready for this? It's a Manfrotto versus Gorilla Pod. Right, Manfrotto versus Gorilla Pod. Which one is best? Gorilla Pod. Gorilla Pod. Gorilla Pod. Right, so the Gorilla Pod. First of all, were some good things about this. Um, it has a, a. You can fasten the ball head so the ball head doesn't move around. It has a spirit level on the top so you can see that your photograph is, is or your video is level. It has a removable thing there so you can put it to your camera and just click it on like that. These things obviously are really flexible they bend around any kind of object and you can attach it to anything okay so that is a gorilla pod so on the other side of things you have the manfrotto which has this little button on the side which you press and it can move around like this like that it has got the universal thread on the bottom so that you can just screw it straight to your camera it has a three legs acts as a tripod sturdy legs very very strong feeling and it has a nice finish on the outside this quite matte plastic finish I like that so which one's best it's not the gorilla pod okay this one I love the Manfrotto I love that the way you just you, you can hold it while you're vlogging and you press a button and you can twist this in, in, in any way that you want to twist it so I like these, they are very very sturdy, it's extremely strong and it uh, doesn't collapse under its own weight, unlike the Gorilla Pod. The Gorilla Pod on the other hand, every time I use this thing, I'm turning the legs, I'm doing this. Hello darkness my old friend. Every time. This thing. I know it's only the, one of the cheaper versions and you can get more expensive versions, but this thing should have the balls. So I think I've actually even broken it now. The balls should be in there and they shouldn't come out. Every time I use that, this, this, every, every time, every time, okay? So this is good on the top where you've got the spirit level. I like this thing on the, on the bottom that you chew, you put on the bottom of your camera and it clips in there. That's good, okay? But why Gorilla Pods? What's the company called? Gorilla Pod. Why Gorilla Pod do these things pop out? God. The Manfrotto. I fully recommend this one. This is the one that I'd go for. This is one I like. The few, I'm not, this isn't a promotion or whatever. I'm not being paid to say this. This is what I use and this is what I prefer. The couple of negatives. I have the white and I don't know if you can see that. The white because of this matte finish that it has on there it gets quite dirty and I've tried to clean it off it can't you can't clean it so the, don't get the white get the black they do a black and red one as well get that one um, the other thing is that although this ball is very good and the release shutter button is very very good it can only hold up to I've got the Canon EOS M50 on it and it's perfect for that for a mirrorless camera if you've got a heavier DSLR it's not going to be very good. Um, even with the mirrorless, I had my microphone plus a light on top and like a V on a V hot shoe mount, and it was just still a little bit too heavy for this. So perfect for small compact cameras, perfect for mirrorless cameras. Not so good for DSLRs. So that is a, one of the that's 
one of the only two downsides uh, along with the the matte finish that gets dirty so there we go guys it was a quick review for you a little bit of a moan as well about the gorilla pod because those things are quite expensive and that shouldn't happen but yeah hope you like the video and i'll see you next time for the next quick review next vlog i haven't decided what i'm doing yet but i'll see you soon take it easy Thank you.